بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي السلام عليكم هاي جايز ذس از رانا قاسم ويلكم تو سكند بارت اوف 8810 ار بي ان لانسر ان ذس بارت وي ويل دو ذا بيسك اند فاينل تشيك اب اند بيسك سيتنجز اوف ذس انالايزر اي هوب افتر فرست بارت you understand basic components of this analyzer and main components of this analyzer so in this part we'll go just faster because it is related to some physical checks and, and some electrical checks so it is easy to understand only keep your attention because after this you will make sure that your analyzer will ready for calibration and final function so let's see i will divide this part in two portion one is related to physical checks and electrical checks and second part related to the basic settings of the analyzer let's start now first of all we look at the physical checks of this analyzer important thing need to ensure that distance between mouth of ore flow and head of siphon tube should be at least 2 cm more than 2 cm is better if it is not like this better to increase the height of overflow tube to do this you have to unscrew the whole fitting of overflow tube it is difficult to push up overflow tube because of this seal ring this seal ring grip tightly to overflow tube i will recommend first pull down overflow tube to loose the seal ring then push up till required level after adjustment make sure whole fitting has tightened properly Now you can observe mouth of overflow tube is about 2 cm higher than the head of siphon tube. Now we see the peristaltic pump. As I told you before there is two peristaltic pump. One for conditioner and other one for titrant. The peristaltic pump has synchronous motor. It has constant output to ensure accurate flow. Ensure both peristaltic pumps tubes are new and healthy. and properly connected on both sides make sure there is no air gap which can reduce the efficiency of pumps now we switch on both pump for this purpose we will use service menu how we can go to the service menu select programming menu press and hold enter key until measurement display then go to service menu by pressing up or down key then go to the pump 1 which is related to titration you will see it is in off condition press up or down key to switch on the pump then press enter to move to next step which is pump 2 the pump 2 related to conditioner pump you will see it is in off condition press up or down key to switch on the pump after that ensure there is proper flow coming out from injection and of the pumps ensure that there is no bubble in this flow injection tubes are very important here both pump injection tubes place behind the siphon tube or behind the level sensor by this way reagent will mix properly in sample and prevent direct effect on electrodes be sure they are not touching top of the level sensor press enter to move to next menu pump 3 pump 4 and heating options not utilized in this application then go to next menu which is related to drain valve verify drain valve working by switching it on and off and observe sample is draining properly after this enter to sample valve menu switch on sample valve observe inlet sample level it should reach to mouth of overflow tube within 10 to 20 seconds this will ensure that inlet sample flow is sufficient then switch off sample valve and verify siphon activation if siphon is not activating properly then reduce the siphon tube entrance with the aid of 2 cm long piece cut from 8 mm tube with internal diameter of 6 mm insert this piece of tube in the mouth of siphon tube after that position the sprinkler 
at that level where it can spray rinse water uniformly on both electrodes. After adjustment, tight the threaded sleeve or hold fitting properly. Press enter for sprinkler menu. Switch on sprinkler and observe it rains properly both electrodes. Sprinkler should install in middle of both electrodes. Then move to next menu which is related to mixer. Switch on mixer and observe. It should not rub with the both electrodes and shaft of mixer should not rub with the siphon tube. Press enter to go to the cleaning menu. This is related to cleaning pump which is installed back side of panel. Switch on the cleaning pump. You will hear some noise. Don't worry about it. This is normal operating sound of cleaning pump. After verification, switch off the cleaning pump. In this application, we are not using dilution option and nitrogen option. We have not configured system alarm, alarm 1 and alarm 2 option. So you can leave it like this. Hope you understand how useful this service, man service menu for physical checks. So almost we finish our 80% physical checks related to the stabilizer. There is only two things left which is related to sample volume and the position of both electrodes. I will tell you this uh, just now I will tell you about this. Now we will verify the sample volume. If you go through the installation manual, it recommends sample volume 75 ml plus minus 5 ml. But I will recommend you to adjust sample volume more than 90 and less than 100 ml. Reason I will show you when we adjust both electrodes position. For volume verification, we will again use service menu. If analyzer in service, then first stop analyzer. Press select key to go to the main menu. On stop selection, press enter and confirm stop by pressing enter key again. Now analyzer in stop mode. Press select key again to go to main menu. Press up or down key to move to programming menu. Press and hold enter key until measurement menu display. Then go to service menu and press enter. Go to the sample pump switch on the sample pump by pressing up or down key observe sample level when it reaches to overflow tube top allow sample to flow through overflow tube till 10 to 20 seconds then switch off sample by pressing up or down key confirm siphon activation Now take 100 ml graduated cylinder. Place graduated cylinder under the drain of reactor and hold properly. Then go to the drain valve menu. Switch on drain valve and collect sample in graduated cylinder. You can see it is 100 ml. If you want to reduce the sample volume, you can change the siphon height same as you adjust the overflow tube height. After adjustment, check the sample volume 3 to 5 times to verify the reproducibility of sample taking. Plus minus 1% error is acceptable. If you read installation manual chapter 2.7.1, it utilizes sprinkle water in place of sample water and sample volume calculated by subtracting weight of empty cylinder from weight of full cylinders in gram. One important thing keep in your mind when you are adjusting siphon may you need adjust level sensor position also to maintain the distance between level sensor head and siphon mouth more than one centimeter. If you will not do like this maybe you have to face the problem of low level sensor fault. Now we will see electrodes positioning. For unselective electrode I will recommend that its membrane should dip inside sample. The reason of keeping sample volume is more than 90 ml is for this purpose. If you keep sample 75 ml and you will dip electrode membrane in this sample, 
there will be chances that membrane bottom will rub with stirrer. That's why better to keep your sample volume more than 90 ml but not more than 100 ml in same length dip reference electrode. Now we will go to programming menu press and hold enter key 3 to 5 second. First there is measurement menu we will discuss it at the end. This time skip this and go to PM menu. It asks for password. Enter 4670 to access PM menu. PM first sub menu is application. Select one point descending potential and press enter. Then enter to option menu. We are not using automatic calibration. Enable chemical cleaning option. Enable chemical conditioning, disable two point calibration option, disable grab sample option, disable zinc option. Although it don't have temperature sensor and heater, but keep heating option enable. Set temperature at 5 degree. If you will not enable above two option, then analyzer, stirrer or mixer remain running even there is no titration in process. It may due to some programming bug of controller. Disable nitrogen option. Disable dilution option. Now come out from option menu. Then enter to milliampere output adjustment menu. Connect milliampere meter in series of analyzer analog output loop. Then select 4 to 20 milliampere output. Enter to adjust 4 milliampere output. Change number in front of 4 milliampere value by using up or down key to adjust 4 milliampere output on your milliampere meter. Press enter to adjust 20 milliampere output in same way. After that, press enter to come out from milliampere adjustment menu. Next menu is for adjustment of ADC. This menu used to adjust minus 500 millivolt and positive 500 millivolt output. How to do this? I will tell you in other part of this analyzer. Don't worry, we can make analyzer operational without this adjustment. Keep this adjustment as factory default. Then go to unit menu. Select milligram unit for concentration and press enter. Now press select key to come out from PM menu. Then go to timing menu. Enter sample injection duration 40 second. It depends how fast sample level rise to overflow tube top. Then enter number of sprinkler. It is three time. It's mean how many time sprinkler need to operate for rinsing. Then enter sprinkler time. Sprinkler time is one time sprinkler operation duration. Set it to 10 second. Injection time keep one second. Delay time is delay in startup of conditioner pump after sample taking. Set it to 8 second. Next is cycle time. It is sample frequency of analyzer. You can set it to as per your sample requirement. Currently it is 15 minutes. It means after every 15 minutes it will take sample. After this it is titration time limitation. This is also you can set as per your sample concentration. If concentration is high, so you can increase the time. Currently, it is 15 minutes. If titration will not finish in 15 minutes, it will give over titration alarm. Next is calibration parameters, which shows last calibration result. Last cal P means last calibration was primary calibration. If there is O, it's mean the last calibration was system calibration. Slope is 100. Then go to sample conditioning menu. First, it is conditioner reagent injection time. It is 40 second. But you can select between 20 second to 40 second. Don't go more than 40 seconds. It is residence time of conditioner reagent. Set it to 30 seconds. Its mean titration pump will start after 30 seconds of injection of conditioner. Reagent 2 option not utilized in this application. Then enter to cleaning menu. 
frequency means after how many sample need to execute cleaning. It depends upon scaling of electrodes. I set it to 5. Sprinkler time means how long you want to rinse electrodes. It is 5 seconds. Reagent injection time means how long cleaning pump required to run. Set it to 5 seconds. Residence time is the residence time of cleaning solution. Set it to 5 seconds. As I told you, all these parameters can be changed according to scaling condition of electrodes. After cleaning, it is service menu, which is already discussed in detail. Next is sequence menu. In this menu, we have three options. Loop, plot ORP, and fixed time. Loop and fixed time related to normal operational sequence of analyzer. In loop mode, after finish first titration, analyzer will immediately start next titration. In fixed time mode, analyzer perform titration as per cycle time which has been set in timing menu. I set it to 15 minutes which means it will perform titration every 15 minutes. Whereas plot ORB mode we use to plot ORP graph of electrodes to get endpoint for titration and for verification of electrodes health. In fixed time menu P1 and P2 injection time set to 10 second. It's mean after completion of titration, P1 and P2 inject titrant and conditioner solution for 10 second for conditioning of electrodes till next execution cycle of titration. Then there is analog output menu in which we decide our lower scale and upper scale value. I1 is lower scale value and I2 is upper scale value. In this case, I adjust I1 0 and I2 250 milligram per liter. Now we will go to measurement menu. In measurement menu, first sub menu, measure descending one point. Select auto end point. Next sub menu is auto end point deviation. Enter 19 seconds by default. I asked many service engineers, they didn't explain why 19 seconds. No problem. We will also keep it 19 seconds. Next sub menu for endpoint. This is very important value. This value you can determine by plotting ORP graph. This needs some time to explain you. I will discuss it in next part of this analyzer. For time being, keep in mind that for healthy electrodes, this value could be between minus 60 to minus 90. Okay friends. After this, our configuration task related to this analyzer is completed. If you only want to view configuration or want to perform online calibration, then you can use read menu without stopping analyzer. Same way, press and hold enter key more than 3 seconds. It will show you same measurement menu and endpoint value. In timing menu, it will show sample time number of sprinklers, sprinkler time duration, injection time, delay time, cycle time, and titration time limitation. Next, you can see calibration parameters related to last calibration. Next is sample conditioning, which shows reagent one enable and its time durations. Then shows cleaning frequency and its related parameters. After cleaning, next is sequence. Currently, it is in loop mode. Then there are different alarm settings. Next is analog output settings. This is lower value and upper value of analyzer. After this, there is calibration menu. This menu you can use for online calibration without stopping analyzer. Okay guys, hope you understand how to perform physical checks and basic configuration of this analyzer. One thing left which is how to determine endpoint which you saw in sub menu of measurement menu. This is important parameter for an analyzer operation. This endpoint value we can get by using plot ORP sequence. This is 8 to 10 minutes 
process which I will show you in next part of this analyzer. After getting correct endpoint, you can perform calibration easily. So meet you again in next part of this analyzer. Till then, thanks and bye.